We're at the Think Tank Museum in Birmingham. For the Are You DNT Challenge. Welcome to everybody to the DNT Challenge celebration event, which we'll get to share with the students the great work which they've done. We reckon some 25,000 students had sight of this material and this project, out of which approximately 170 entries were submitted. And out of that 170 entries, the nine we have today are the creme de la creme. Congratulations to each and every one of you. You've done a tremendous job. The packaging team was from Isgol Glanimore. So can we have Amber, Sophie, Layla and Tegan up here, please? We've designed a portable cereal bowl. What did you enjoy about doing this? I enjoyed working with Amber, Sophie and Tegan. We are really close friends. What they came up with was something which was quite unique. I2R Packaging, who were the sponsors of that category, are actually talking about now working with the school and looking at making a prototype. The runner-up from St Ives is Nick Wood. Tell us a bit about your design. What did you want to achieve in the first place? I wanted to make it better than the original fabric cases. When you're travelling with a fabric case, they can easily damage the surfboard because they're not very strong and they can rip easily. I have a, a nephew who's into his surfing in South Devon and I understand the issues of damaging a board. It demonstrates the real benefits of aluminium. So it's lightweight to be carried on the shoulder, put on top of a car. It's non-corroding in a seawater environment. Ethan Thorne from St Ives in Cornwall. I kind of stumbled across the idea of the life straw. It filters 99.9% .9 of bacteria. So you've taken an aluminium bottle and you've built into it the life straw. Well done, Ethan. From Hermiston Grammar School, Melissa, Eve and Harry. We designed a building which is essentially for a wildlife photographer. Where did you use aluminium in this building? The frame of the Dover doll aluminium and then some of these aluminium to let the light through. I didn't actually know much about aluminium. I only really knew about aluminium foil and that was it. I learned so much more. I would like to become a designer of the future. I love designing, I love drawing. The fact they work as teams is very encouraging because that's something they will do in life. The idea of working with technology was encouraging and very enthusiastic. Amy from Open School. My building is for a musician. The reason I made it is because my brother plays a trumpet. I found out aluminium is quite good for acoustics in a way that aluminium foam is a great sound insulator. So the denser you make the aluminium, the better it insulates the sound. Ermston Grammar, Christopher, Hayden, Evan and Alistair. The automotive entries were really good quality entrance for this year. One of the themes that I captured in both winners in, in the team and the individual was the drive to reusing components and increasing the recycle content. And that's a key path that the industry is already on. It's good to see it being reinforced. Well, our design takes into account the problems that people with mobility issues have. So we've used like sustainable features in order to like, achieve that and different aluminium processes. The innovation that we saw in the idea of a roof becoming an access ramp, just completely out of the blue, but what a great idea you could see actually working. Alex Brown from Oakham School. Well, it was mainly designed because with disabled people who are mainly wheelchair bound, it's really hard to drive a car or at least get in a car. This, you could wheel your wheelchair into it. There's so many different alloys, there are so many different ways you can use aluminium. One of the things that this challenge does is it highlights aluminium as a material. One of the successes of that is to help educate young people so that they can make informed judgments about our material and about their career choices going forward. They've all had incredible fun. They've got smiles right across their faces. They can't stop talking about the enjoyment they've had. And I think what they've also learned is that if you make that effort, if you dare to fail, you can succeed. <laughs>